We are talking now about my favorite topic, as everybody knows, is dogs and the dogs being our heroes during COVID or any of your furry friends, in this case, dogs. I'm thrilled to introduce KD Free, who is the president of the Kong Company. And if you're not familiar with Kong, you are going to get a Kong education here today. KD, welcome. Thank you so much for joining us. Oh, it's such a pleasure to be here. Thank you. Thank you. I don't love anything more than talking about Kong. So. <laughs> and I love talking about dogs. So we are going to have the perfect conversation about how they really have saved the day for us during COVID, as they do many other times, but especially now when we're at home so much. And we really are in need of, I think we're all in need of the same thing, right? A little enrichment, a little engagement, some stress relief. Uh, you know, we need it as much as they do, and Kong provides that. So tell us a little bit about Kong and, and your experience with the company. All right. Well, I've been with the Kong company 23 years. Um, the company is about 45 years old, though. Um, and in my time in the 23 years, it's been just an incredible ride to uh, be in the company as the company grows and what we're building and what we're able to do for dogs and the pet parents. Um, and frankly, what it's done for me, not just in my career, but for my um, appreciation for dogs in life. Um, I started out terrified um, of dogs. I was just going to be a temporary here at Kong and help out a few weeks. And 23 years <laughs> later, I'm still trying to decide if I'm staying, but so far, so good. Um, but during that time, um, I've gone from being terrified of dogs to loving dogs. And the difference really comes in the understanding of dogs. I didn't understand dogs. I hadn't been educated. I hadn't been around dogs that um, were well behaved. And so I didn't know how wonderful it could be. Well, I've learned that as a pet parent, if you understand dogs, and it's not a deep, deep understanding that you have, it's just stop and watch what's happening with your dog and what are the cues your dog is giving for their happiness, their sadness, their separation anxiety. It's instincts that they have inside of them. So rather than try to force them into a box, be a student of your dog, just like you would be of your child. All of our children are not in the same mold and all dogs aren't either. But having the fun of being the student of your dog and try different things to see if you can um, improve their behavior or have fun with them or, you know, what makes them happy, what makes them sad. So through my journey, it's been a wonderful exploration uh, personally. And of, of course, I love, I love the Kong Company and what we do here. Well, I love that. And I, of course, I love dogs and we've done many shows on dogs featuring my dog and others. Um, but right now I, because of COVID, am living with my brother and his family to help out with the children and my parents. And so now we are three adults, two children and three dogs in this house. And it has changed the dynamic for <laughs> everyone in a very big way mm -hmm. because of the dogs for the most part right? Their interactions, their level in, of engagement, our engagement with them. And Kong has played a very large part mm. in that because you guys now have the Kong Box subscription mm. program and you were generous to share it with us. And each of the dogs got their own box and we'll share um, the pictures as we go on. But tell us about the subscription program because you and I both know we love getting our subscription boxes. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so there's a lot of fun in the surprise and the elements of what comes in it. So tell us about the Kong box. Okay. Well, we have the privilege of licensing our name out. So we have a partner that facilitates everything around the Kong box using our toys and treats using the tips and tricks and education that we have and bringing that fun and excitement of subscription as you just referred to um, to the owners as well as to the dog so it's so joyful to watch a dog get their Kong box and want to go crazy with everything um, that's inside. So obvious, obviously it's convenient like any subscription box and it's also tailored that dog. So when people sign up for Kong Box, they can go in and talk about the age of the dog, the chewing temperament, um, maybe uh, solutions that they're looking for for their dog. Perhaps it's separation anxiety or weight management. They can go in and personalize what they're looking for. But the surprise and the delight comes in because they don't know what they're going to get, nor do they probably even know about all of the Kong products. We have over 1,200 toys and treats. So 
it's rare if anyone would know all of them. I may not even be able to name them all now. To That's keep track amazing. 1,200 yeah. toys and treats. Mm -hmm. And they hit a variety of needs for dogs. Um, sometimes dogs need to just chew and get their energy out, get their stress out during these times. Um, chewing on the Kong, stuffing the Kong with treats, it extends the time that the dog engages with the Kong. Um, uh, even, even during hot days, uh, stuffing the Kong with something that you can freeze, kind of make it a popsicle with broth, perhaps. Well, on a hot day, what a wonderful thing to give your dog. It occupies the dog. It helps hydrate the dog. And, you know, it's just fun. It's fun as the, the uh, pet parent to watch the dog go after it. But Kong Box gives such a variety. It helps parents to see their dog might have different a different temperament with a plush toy that maybe they never bought for their dog because they didn't think their dog would like it or would only kill it. Well, they have opportunities to try different types of plush toys because they're not all the same. Some are reinforced. Some don't have any stuffing. Try like you would to your child. You want to expose them to a variety of different things. You can do the same with your dog. So as that surprise box comes every month, you know that there's something in there for you for the fun of it and the convenience, but the dog, you know, the joy of the dog and occupying them during this time because they have been our heroes, getting us through being at home, getting us through the stress and the transition. Um, so, yeah, giving them something good. I know. I really, first of all, I feel super guilty when I leave them now yeah. because I, I'm like, wow, we've been home for five months together and I've probably been out of the house five days. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so yeah. when yeah. I leave, it's a big deal, but I am, but like you said, we have a freezer full of Kongs and I've taken the recipes off the website and you mm -hmm. talk about the different levels of engagement. And I really had never thought about it that way mm -hmm. until we started using the Kongs and watching the dog behaviors, you know, how you say the dog needs to work. Mm -hmm. And the dog needs to have purpose and that you've built that into the toy itself. I mean, we just, we see it necessarily as a toy. It's funny, you, then you flip it on its side and now it's a whole different tool. Mm -hmm. And I hadn't thought about it that way. I don't think seeing them in the store, I ever really understood the purpose and the, all the psychology behind it. Absolutely, because dogs do need to work. They need to live out the instinct that's inside of them. Just because we put them in our homes doesn't mean that, that instinct is gone. And so if you give the dog a job, for instance, the toy you held up and you stuff it with some treats, they can chew on the rubber, they can enjoy that sensation, they can enjoy the work of getting that treat out. I know some consumers will say, oh, it's so mean. They're working so hard to get that out. Well, it's not necessarily mean. They could feel good about the workout, if you will, that they're getting because they're winning by getting something out of that stuffed Kong. Or maybe it's the squeaking out of a plush toy. They are getting something for the work that they're doing. It's, it's like when we work out. Yeah, it can be hard, but it feels good and it's good for us. And, and dogs need that. They need that Absolutely. distraction and the challenge. That's great. I, I just think that's amazing. And also the parallel between them needing enrichment and engagement and stress relief as well. Mm -hmm. So do we. Yeah. And I know um, from reading some of the stories on the website, one of my favorite is that a woman needed an hour to work, just an uninterrupted hour. And by giving her dog the frozen Kong, she knew yeah. that she would, that they would both have a good hour. And I think at this point, we want to look at opportunities to, number one, thank our dogs, right? Mm -hmm. Thank them for being so, so amazing in helping us, but also provide for ourselves because they are our furry children. Mm -hmm. And yeah, yeah, I know, I know we all share that. We all share that just the same. So can you give us two or three tips that you recommend in using a Kong or any toy um, to really help with that enrichment, engagement, and, and stress relief right mm -hmm. now? Well, you've referred to one of them, and that's the freezing. We always recommend that people give that a try, but give it a variety. So maybe it's a variety of food, but also not always frozen. Sometimes it might be, um, you know, uh, natural yogurt that you shake inside of the Kong. And it's a little quick treat. Sometimes you may take and stuff their meal inside of it and freeze it, and it can take them an hour. Um, one, one thing we like to talk about is the key is three. So what that means is one is with the dog, one is frozen, 
and ready for the next time. And one is in the dishwasher being oh, washed. Oh, so three Kongs. <laughs> exactly. Got so you, three Kongs like that, or it can be three hidden around the house. So in these times where dogs get bored, we'll, we'll, many trainers will tell uh, people to do this, where you put the treats or put the uh, food, actually, the kibble, in the Kong and hide three of them around the house. And then it's the dog's job to hunt and get occupied and, uh, you know, just have a good time finding the Kongs. And everybody has fun with hide and seek. And so that, that's like a game of hide and seek. That's amazing. So much fun. So mm -hmm. much fun for all of us because there's nothing better than a happy dog. A happy dog yeah. is a quiet dog. <laughs> yeah. And that yeah. does make a difference. That mm -hmm. does make a difference. So how can our viewers learn more about Kongbox? Oh, very simply, just go to Kongbox.com and we can walk you through uh, the steps of getting your subscription going and personalizing it to you and your dog and what you're looking for. Thank you, Katie. Thank you so much for being with us. Again, one of my favorite topics. I know yours too. And I know our viewers are sitting there with their little friends right on their laps now saying, this is a great idea. I got to get it. <laughs> I hope so. I hope so. So too. Thank you again. Oh, and we'll be you. right back.